Good morning all, hope you're well, Monday morning. Nice bright spring morning. Currently smoking my LCS apple, I haven't had this out in a while. It's a reverse plateau, a gorgeous little pipe. And the reason why I haven't smoked it in a while is because it's been in my uh, everyday carry pouch which has just been sitting in my office and I've forgotten it was in there. I've also got my uh, LCS sandblasted pipe in there, which I was looking for the other day and I couldn't remember where it was. You guys know this pipe, gorgeous pipe. So that's a Latakia pipe, that one. So uh, in my everyday carry bag, EDC, I usually carry at least two blends of tobacco and two appropriate pipes. So one will be usually a Virginia based tobacco and the other one a Latakia based. So I'm covered for whatever mood I'm in. And more recently it's been an aromatic and a Latakia. So in this case, it's vanilla cream, loose cut. And that's what I'm smoking in the apple. To be honest, I don't remember what I smoked in the apple beforehand. So um, it's now got aromatics in it, so be it. I'd completely forgotten about this pipe. You know, sometimes you just put it away and you just forget. It's such a gorgeous pipe. It's um, surprising that I could forget about it. it. Even to the extent that I'd forgotten that I had such a pipe. I'm sure it would have come back to me at some point. But um, it's surprising though that I did forget because I was watching this pipe for so long as it sat on my website <coughs> and it just didn't sell, um, which really surprised me. But as I've said, what I consider to be a good pipe, other people think is meh, and what I think is meh, people snap up, so it's who knows. You think that you can get some kind of grip on what the trends are, but in reality, um, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to it. You know, somebody gets on the website, sees a pipe, they like it, they buy it. Other people have no uh, inclination to buy that kind of pipe at all. Well, I'm back home. Still smoking my uh, LCS reverse plateau apple and uh, what I wanted to share with you is a bit of a eureka moment I had today I've been having a lot of trouble with this bandsaw it's been extremely slow and not cutting through wood I uh, aligned all the guides uh, a few weeks ago proved it a little bit but it didn't really help and I had a spare blade a much thinner blade and the one I've been using till now is is, uh, is about not quite double the width or depth, um, but uh, certainly deeper. Anyway, I changed the blade. I thought maybe it's just gone dull and unbelievable. I think this is the first time that um, this thing has worked how it should work. Just watch this. that would have taken me a few minutes to get through that piece of briar it's unbelievable I can sw turn it and swivel it it's, it's really be a eureka moment um, and I feel like a fool for not having uh, tried this blade in the in the beginning it's um, I've struggled I mean I've managed I've just had to take my time over it but this is just I was always you know been thinking the whole time that I've got to get a new bandsaw absolutely not this is fine I'm really delighted you know that I can actually um, just carry on without any issues at all now hopefully it'll stay that way long may it be um, I'm gonna order a couple of spare blades so that I've got them in stock always and yeah really happy about that so I had a builder a contractor here this morning and we talked about putting up a workshop here in this space you can see the rubbish that people have uh, dumped outside my garage it's just a ridiculous level of rubbish 
But essentially, to give you an idea, that's the neighbor's little thread. That's the end of the property, that corner. And the same on this side here, that's the corner. And you can see the recess that's created. For some reason, whenever they built my garage, it's like a meter and a half in. So this little space, this alcove, is what people have just basically used to dump. And uh, it's gotten a bit ridiculous. So, for now, so this is the space I wanted to use to create the um, workshop, which seemed to make a lot of sense. Um, had the concrete poured around the edges, <clears throat> around the perimeter of the space. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fill in that concrete and put a fence right on the corner there so that people can't dump. I can put the fence all the way across. Um, and uh, having spoken to the builder, for now I'm going to shelve the idea of building a workshop. It's just too much money. And what I'm going to do is just uh, fill this in, smooth it out, and make it a usable piece of... Uh, land whatever it might be maybe the kids will play on it maybe i'll put a shed on it a temporary shed and i'm just gonna have to insulate the uh, workshop better and make it a little bit more permanent i mean i've kind of installed everything in here and uh, i can just carry on without a problem all i've got to do is just make it a little bit more insulated that sliding roof i have to resolve possibly screw it down and put some insulation in there the Roland issue seems to be okay at least under control because um, I left some food out on the floor and it was there again this morning and I will leave it out each night just to see that um, Roland can't get in and I'm okay with that for now if we catch him we catch him if not not as long as he can't get in here I'm okay with that so yeah that's a, a little bit of a, a an update in case you didn't see the videos yesterday two pipes um, done yesterday we did this uh, gorgeous Liverpool and I haven't done videos of these yet and this volcano this reverse plateau volcano I love the, the, the look of that with the button polish on it it's almost fiery like molten lava just works well together with the stem it's very volcano-ish the whole thing nice grain and worked out really well very happy with that and on the bench at the moment, I have a uh, an egg type thing on there with a, a nice curved shank, hopefully. We'll see how the plateau looks when it's finished. It's a nice tight plateau. It should, if I take the plateau off, it should still give me a very nice grainy uh, bird's eye on there. So just thought I'd do a little video uh, with a bit of an update. So for now, I'm going to wish you well. Catch you on the next one.